this is exactly why I don't buy shit from Harbor Freight. A lot of this stuff. Look at this. This dolly just snapped right in half. There ain't 200 pounds on this thing. Harbor Freight junk. Okay, uh, back again. Gonna make this pretty quick here today. A um, little shout out before we get started here. Mr. Roblero, preferred customer, uh, reordered through Amsoil on 827. I didn't get to you. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, really helping me out. And then I also had one, Mr. Ayers from Kentucky, also reordered on 912. Um, I didn't look at what you got. I, I think Roblero had some engine flush and airs was regular motor oil but thank you very much and then uh one thing here is we'll uh we'll get this engine installed here i got to do a couple things i'll take the old spark plugs out go ahead and replace those spark plugs and this engine actually appeared that it had a little bit of an oil leak on that front cylinder um which is a good sign when it was used uh, the guy told me eight thousand miles i've seen it and everything but that means that the the top end has been uh the, the valves have been uh ran on it is is my guess but there's a little piece of rubber in there uh, that they basically have. I'm gonna have to put some uh, silicone seal on. And that's where I think it's leaking from. But uh, last time I ordered from AF1 Racing, valve cover gasket, $7.50. I said, I'll pull it off and replace it. So we got valve cover gasket, uh, install the starter, and then, um, well, can't remember now, spark plugs. And then the spark plug. So uh, if you can see here, I actually have this made up, which I'm not real sure I'm gonna be selling merchandise, but uh, I had this shirt made up because I was gonna do these videos in this other shirt. I had bought this from Amsoil, wonderful shirt, great shirt, tremendous quality. It's a, uh, if you were working in a shop or at a dealership or you had your own business, I'm doing this in my garage in my free time. But uh, yeah. This ain't me. Michael don't do buttons. I don't do buttons and I don't do tuck in shirts. So uh, wonderful quality shirt, Amsoil. I'm actually uh, impressed. I kind of was hoping for some secret stitching in here, which you didn't have. And actually I would suggest this quality shirt to anybody that is a dealer and uh, has a shop. But uh, yeah, I don't do button up shirts and I don't do tucking in. So. Fortunately, uh, with my job, I don't have to. And if I had a job that I'd have to, I probably wouldn't. So yeah, that's 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 that 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 will never be worn. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this.
as you can see that there is where the oil leak was I believe coming from from this valve cover gasket and it's been apart someone has recocked it and right there on that wire there's a piece of rubber and I checked my other bike out and it had factory silicone on it as well so I hate to have to do that but we're gonna pull that valve cover off
seems to follow Like a shadow dark and cold to the touch Am I insane not to let go? Oh, go on, just do what you do start going wrong like this and I'm, I'm kind of in a rush already with the, my work um, that's when things get broke so I'm gonna put this on hold and come back to this in a couple days but uh, hopefully next week I'll I'll get this in there and uh, we'll go from there but I've just got some uh, some other things going on to where I can't I can't spend the time that I need on this little project every day so Yep, thanks for watching. Check me out next weekend. We'll, we'll get this in here next week, so I'm out of here.